There we go. Oh, they do exist. That's what I'm talking about. What's up guys, Jeremy here from Good Hook Productions. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish in Florida. Today we just found this spot. Um, it's behind a municipal uh, park. It's also behind the city hall here in Northport, Florida. Um, brand new spot. I've never checked this out before. I've never even been over here, except to maybe, I don't know, pay a fine or something. But, uh, um, but we're gonna check it out. Um, we've got some two new baits so with a new spot we're gonna check out try some new baits as well uh, we've got the bio spawn from mystery tackle box that I got uh, enhanced with bio scent and then I picked up something on black Friday uh, yeah black Friday at Dick's Sporting Goods they had like 25% off so I uh, picked up some yum dinger worms so normally I kind of go with a like method of if Cinco's aren't catching fish. There just ain't any fish out here. So um, we're gonna try this new spot. It actually is pretty nice. It's got uh, it's got some lily pads, which is pretty good, and it's also pretty narrow, so we won't have to uh, throw it too far to get onto the other side. It's where I'm just trying to go from the bank over there and uh, come back over to the lily pad. Uh, so hopefully, get some action. Uh, when I see you guys next, we'll have the bio scent worms rigged up and we'll be tossing it in well, it's not right over there where those lily pads are. So hopefully we have some good luck today because the past few days with this cold weather out here in Florida, right now it's like 63 degrees uh, and I think it's kind of like that and the fall transition is kind of messing with some of the bass. It's a little bit harder to catch um, but hopefully we have some better luck here. Alright, when I see you guys soon we'll, have, we'll be rigged up, ready to go. Alright. So, start out with these uh, Biospawn Eco Sticks. Uh, we're just gonna do a uh, weed list. Because we don't wanna get stuck in anything out there. Just have to do like that. Turn around. The key is to get it as straight as possible. That way, it looks a lot more natural. Let's cast it out. Alright, well not too much luck at that spot. I didn't get a nibble or anything, but I also wasn't there too long just because the neighbor on the other side is playing music and I just don't want to get any like copyright infringement or any marks on my on my channel so uh, I'm just going to go down a little bit further. There's actually a dam down here uh, that I'm going to check out. Looks like it's got a lot more sun, a little bit calmer water. Uh, hopefully I have a little bit better luck. So when I see you next, uh, we'll be down there and set up and ready to go. Hopefully having some better luck. Alright. Like I said, it's been a bit slow out here in Northport. Um, or at least just out here in Florida with catching bass. Southwest Florida at least. Um, just uh, the weather's been pretty cold. I've been hearing from other people, uh, other followers as well. On my Instagram that it's been... Uh, slow for them so it's not just me but I am hitting up a lot of places I probably hit like five to seven new spots a week and I've only caught about four bass in the past couple weeks so it's definitely been slow out here uh, hopefully it picks up soon because slow days it's, it's a little rough, but at least the weather's been really nice out here. 
and uh, I can't complain. I mean, it's like 63 degrees, and it's just nice to go out on a hike, walk around, and kind of explore new things. Unlike when it's the summer, it's just really hot. So, uh, so yeah. Here's that dam down here. Uh, I'm gonna check on both sides. I think I can hear some running water. Um, so we're gonna see. I mean, it looks a little more promising. There's lily pads. There's two sides to um, fish up. So. I think someone takes their boat down here. There's a boat ramp over there. Yeah, we're just gonna try both sides. Actually, yeah, we could walk down on this concrete area. I thought it was gonna be all bushes and stuff like this, but it's not. Yeah, we'll try a couple. We'll try here, and then let's see what it looks like on the other side. And yeah, we've got that spot right there. And we can just kind of sit in the shade try a little bit down there as well without getting too stuck. So let's, uh, let's set this up and hopefully catch some fish. Alright, so no, uh, no luck with these so far. I'm just going to swap this out uh, while I'm over here on this side, and then I'll use this again when I cross over onto the other side of the bridge. Um, but yeah, do that. the Biospawn Eco Stick. I don't know. I, I've seen people use them with a the jig as well, so maybe I think I might have one here in my bag. So I'm gonna uh, maybe try that out a little bit later. Hopefully it doesn't get caught up, but I'm gonna switch over to the Yum. I'm um, gonna switch over to these guys, the Yum Ginger. So they kind of look like the Gary Yamamoto uh, Yamasinko worms, uh, which are like eight bucks, and these guys were I think like two, three dollars. So uh, if they're kind of the same, uh, if they're kind of the same, I'm gonna go for the cheaper one. So let's bust these open and rig them up and hopefully we have a little bit better luck. Like I said, I'm going to go back to these eco sticks, biospawn eco sticks when I get to the other side, but I just want to try uh, a couple different things while I'm over here. Uh, so maybe I'll have some better luck if I can get these open. There we go. So this is what they look like. They are light green, They've got like the red, yeah, watermelon red flake. So, I seem to do pretty good with green worms and there's like tea water is what it's called. Uh, so I'm going to try that out. Uh, I've got some pretty good hogs, if you haven't checked out my Instagram, check it out. Uh, and those were off of Gary Yamasinko uh, worms, which are pretty nice. They're so a little expensive, like eight bucks for some worms. But they're catching big fish, I guess they're kind of worth it. Look at that, rod fell, fell apart. It might be too, time for a new one. There we go. Make sure we're all set, eyes are correct. These actually seem, compared to the, the Gary Yamasinkos, um, they seem to, they feel like they have some, some kind of like jelly or some kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like the BioSense, how they've got that, that scented stuff on there. Uh, so let's cast this out and 
Hopefully I'll see better luck. So we're going to re-rig these up and uh, off to the other side. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. We're rigged up again. Uh, we're just going to catch it out right in the middle. Come back this way like we just did. And hopefully we'll catch another one. I definitely think... I, you can definitely tell that the water is deeper on this side than it is on the other side. So it's just, I guess, in our advantage. Passing out like a 45 degree angle from the shore, pretty much just in the channel, right, right in the middle. So yeah, again, this is what they look like: the young dinger, uh, watermelon, red flake. Like I said, they kind of feel like they have like a scent on them, although they don't say it, but I can definitely tell it's a lot slimier um, compared to the, the old one I just took off. So I'm just going to make sure our line isn't frayed. Uh, if you know with bass, they've got kind of like little micro teeth or around their lips and it kind of frays your line. So definitely want to make sure that uh, your line is good to go after you've just caught the bass or else you know you may have an even bigger one on the on the next cast and it snaps because you, know, you didn't check the line so like I said you kind of see that little shininess and that's from the squirm so I don't want to touch it too much and rub it all off but let's uh, cast it out try to catch another one One last can, come in the with the freezer, and then we're just gonna move that on.
This looks semi promising slash snake alley. So I'm just gonna post up right here and see if we can catch something. There's a, there's an opening down over there, so it's now like a now it's like a T. So it goes that way, and then it comes right here and stops at the bridge behind us, uh, as you can see. No luck with the, these, um, these worms over here. I may just hit up that spot next to the bridge where I just caught, uh, where I caught one earlier, um, with with this one. And if I don't get a bite or anything, I think I'm gonna head a little bit down towards the beginning of where I first started and just kind of go around the bend uh, near the. There's I think another bridge over there. So hopefully we have some better luck. Got one fish, we've hit up uh, two different spots, or oh, three different spots. Um, so our odds aren't that good, but that's all right. We're gonna keep trying. Uh, we may switch this one out for the um, for the bio stick or the uh, eco stick, whatever, um, pretty soon. Uh, I think once we get to the new bridge, um, then we'll switch out and try something a little bit newer. All right, guys, when I see you guys next, I'm going to be closer to the bridge and casting out and hopefully catching a fish. All right, guys. All right, we're back at the bridge um, where we caught that fish earlier. Still using our Cinco worm. Um, just going to fix a little. There we go. And then cast out over here. We've got a little bit more wind now, so um, trying to get stuck in the bridge like we did earlier. Now we're just going to catch up that way and pull it back again along the shore and then uh, more of like a 45 degree angle from us. So, me standing straight, it's going to be more of like that over there towards the tree. So, they do exist and at least one bit. So Hopefully there's more fish out here. Alright, so this is going to be our last cast. Then we're going to head down towards the uh, newer bridge that I was talking about earlier. Uh, and we'll try our luck over there. The water's a little bit shallower, but hopefully it's warm and fast. Seems it has ran out over here. Well, at least we got that one. I mean, it was a decent size. I don't know how big it was. I don't have a scale on me or anything, but it was a pretty good size. For at least over here. I mean, it was a lot larger than I was expecting. That's all right, so let's head over to the new bridge. All right, so I'm walking along this like canal thing uh, right here behind the police station, and there is this huge boat. And I'm not talking about like, uh, this looks like a yacht. Look at that. Yeah, let me focus. Like, what? Is that an art project? <laughs> or, I have no idea. It looks crazy. It's just this like, huge yacht, but then they built something on top of it. Like some kind of, I don't know, some dancing. Uh, 
<laughs> I got some dancing platform or something. That's crazy. All right, we're at our last and final stop. Uh, we're still using our yum ging dinger. I think that's what it's called. Uh, worms. Uh, we're gonna cast this out a couple times, and then we're going to switch over to the um, uh, bio stick or eco stick. Bio spawn eco stick. There we go. Uh, looks a little shallow over here, but I mean, we won't know until we try, right? So, pass this guy out and hopefully catch a fish. So we're gonna move it down just a little bit further. No bites. I, oh, actually, I think I had a couple bites. Um, I think those were turtles. They kind of like snag right here on the end, and then they just let go uh, once they can tell that it's not a real uh, worm. So we're gonna try it down over there, and that will conclude this. All right. All right, so this looks like a pretty good spot. What I'm going to do is try to flip it onto the grass down over there and then uh, let it just kind of glide in, into the water. All right, let's see how we do. Alright, so um, that pretty much concludes this video. We at least caught one fish today, um, which is good. It was a decent size down at the, um, over at the dam, uh, using these Yum Dinger uh, Senko worms. It worked pretty well, and they actually held up a lot better than I think the Gary Yam Yamamoto uh, Yamasenko 5 inch um, worms do, which is pretty good. As I said, it's cheaper. Uh, you get about the same quantity, eight pack, yeah. So same as uh, the Gary's, um, and they seem to work pretty well. I mean, I at least caught one fish on that worm, which is always good with the new product. Um, you're always kind of hesitant on if it's going to catch anything at all, uh, but you can't go wrong with uh, single worms. So worked out pretty well. I mean, we at least didn't go home empty-handed, we at least caught one decent sized fish down over there by the bridge, um, which is pretty good. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning into this episode of Fish in Florida. I'm Jeremy from Good Hook Production. If you're not a part of my growing uh, Instagram account, we're up to, I think, 1,800. Last time I had a video about a week or so ago, we were um, 1,300. So we've got 500 new followers just in a week's time. So. Um, I'll have all my social media down below. If you're not already following me, go ahead and follow. Um, if you're not subscribing, hit that red subscribe button down below. And also turn on those post notifications and hit that like button so I know to keep making these new videos. Um, I appreciate you guys' time. Thanks. Peace.